Shalom shalom alechem. In this video, I will be teaching you how to read the Hebrew text. Okay? And this flows into the vowels as well. So make sure to take a look at that um, video. Okay? So reading the vowels, reading the text. Remember, Hebrew is made up of consonants and vowels. The vowels are not there, as in they're not written. You don't see them. However, in the Tanakh, in the Torah, you do see them, okay? Only because of the Masoretes. So, you have one word here, and you have another word here. We will be starting with the first word. We see one consonant, mem, a vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant. Hebrew is made up of consonant, vowel, or consonant, vowel, consonant. And it can continue, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant. But you will never find the vowel first, consonant second. Never, 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 never. That's not happening. Okay? So, uh, come on. Okay. So, this C is consonant. This V is vowel. Or vowel. Okay? So, for those who actually sound out the E, vowel, okay? So, consonant, and then you have the vowel, okay? Consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant. This here is a consonant. Remember, mem is a consonant. The pathah here is a vowel. Ah, remember? So, what is this? Ma, mm, we sound out the consonant first. And then we go on to the vowel. Ma. Ma. And the Amer as American fat. Okay? Ma. And we continue yod. So we now say the consonant. Y y y this is the hirik or hirik. Remember, it makes a e, e, e sound like ravine. So. Ma mm. then you start then you stop with the consonant again so it's this puts a halt or a full stop so maim maim this is not e cuz i know in modern hebrew people tend to say e maim Ma'im. It's two syllables. Two of these. Count them. One. Pathah. Two. Hirik or hirik. Okay. Ma'im. Next we have another word. It's aleph. We start with the aleph. That is the consonant. Remember C V or C V C. This is a, 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 nope, this is e. Remember, the aleph is a special character. So you have e, e, r, remember the r, resh, so er, r, er, go on to the next consonant, and then on to the next vowel. Consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, so that's two vowels two consonant and then one what one consonant so this is consonant vowel consonant vowel consonant that's what this is remember aleph consonant one check next vowel check next consonant check next vowel check and lastly vowel check so why don't you guys try doing that on your own? Pick out words from the Tanakh, even if you don't understand what it means, and then you 
you test your own self. You have to be 100% in this to gain maybe 2% back <laughs> because you put in so much, but then you may get just a little out of it. And then you continue onwards and onwards and on Sorry about that. Onwards and onwards and onwards and onwards, okay? So, two syllables, and it's e reth Reth, okay? Not ret, but reth. Remember the sozi? You don't hear it so much when it's at the end of a word. Usually in the beginning or the middle or somewhere in between there, but at the end, it's harder. So, eretz. Not eretz. But eretz. Okay? Eretz. Let's see. What snacks do we have here? Um, so, the next subject we'll talk about are open and closed syllables. What you see on the right, open. What you see on the left, closed. Now. What do I mean by open syllables? You have the consonant and then the vowel. That is open. It has nothing to seal it off. Think of it as a ball continuing to go and go and go. There's no wall to hit it. So it will just continue to go and go and finally lose mon momentum. But that's pretty much how it is. Oh. Then you have b, b, ba. Ba is open. It has nothing to shut it off. Closed is like having something that can shut it off. You have a wall here and the ball keeps bouncing until it hits a wall. C, V, C. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Or you have a book, and then you have, so you have two book holders here, and then you have the book in the middle. That's C, V, C. Anything that'll stop the content from leaking out, falling down, that's pretty much how the C, V, C closed syllables are okay so this says lie stop because of the showa and then la laila what you will come to see with showas also when you say them when you say the word fast it sounds like it's repeating so laila it sounds like laila laila okay this here is yom, closed because of the consonant yod. The holem is the vowel, and then you have the mem, which is consonant. C, V, C. Open is just consonant, and then the holem. The wow here just holds up the holem. If you have an aleph and just the Holem, it's still the same thing. So this is O, this is O also. Okay, so right now I have monosyllabic words. And monosyllabic is one syllable, okay? Like son, or, col, col, or, and son. With this is different. You s go straight, you skip the Aleph, and then you go straight to the Nun. So, Sazi, the Holem, skip Aleph, and then go to the Nun. So, this Son. Son. Then you have Or. You have the Aleph, you go straight to the um, Holem, and then go straight to the Resh. Or. This wow is just holding it up because one can have a second one can have it just like this. So the wow is just holding it up. 
it's visually easier to distinguish this than it is, I mean, this right here than it is this. This can be ur or or. This, well, if I didn't grow up seeing it so often, I wouldn't know. Next, we have the kaf and lamed. Kol. You see how it's just two um, consonants and then one syllable? That's why it's monosyllabic, one syllable. So, kol. You go from the kaf to the cholem, and then you go to the lamed. Kol. Let's try another one. We have this. Now, remember this right here? Let's see if I can write on this. Okay. Remember this here? This is a composite shoa. It's telling me that this is a short a ah sound. So this is aleph, short a. Ah, so it's a. Ah. Then I have to go to the daleth next, and that's the 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 the. So, sorry. Um. So it's aleph, and then the pasach, and then the daleth, and then the chamis. So it's a the. As, uh, and then we go to the mem, and then we go to the chamis, and that's ma. So as uh, ma. So from one consonant to the syllable to the consonant to the syllable to the consonant to the syllable. So it's like this. Consonant to the syllable, consonant to the syllable, consonant to the syllable, consonant to the syllable, and we can continue. Okay? When it is a monosyllabic word, it's consonant to the syllable, consonant. Or consonant to the syllable, consonant. Visually think of it as that. For those who are more um, visual, think of it as that. Those shapes, those lines. For those who... Uh, oh yeah, so clothes, because this is clothes, think of... To remember clothes, just think of, again, the ball, but boop, 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 boop. Can't go anymore. Open, dot, 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 keep going. One, two, three, boop, can't go anywhere. Okay? So that's with close and then open. So I hope this gives you some more clarity in reading the Tanakh. We will try one passage just to give you a better understanding, okay? So just to put it into practicality. So, we'll start reading Devarim Perech He Pasuk Aleph. Since you guys should be reading this over and over to get accustomed. Let's take a more basic, in-depth look, okay? We have here a consonant. What consonant do I see? Wow. Wow makes a w w w sound. So w. Next we have the vowel. Pathah. The pathah makes a a ah sound. That's a short vowel. So w w. On to the next consonant. I see a yod here. That makes a y y sound then i see this little dot well what little dot is this this is not the hirik this is a dachish i didn't go over this with you and i won't right now but this is a dachish next i see the hirik this is saying to stop 
slightly or have a pause. So if I'm going down a street, picture it that way, or I'm going down the sidewalk, and I come to the intersection of the car comes along, I look both ways, and that's me pausing for cough. Why hold? Why and because I see a shawa here, this now is a short vowel. So before it's a long vowel, e. Now it's a short vowel, e. Why Move on to the next consonant, resh. Then I move on to the next vowel, a. So why kra? Notice something strange. As you come to the shoa and move off of it to the next consonant and then to the next vowel, it produces a small sound. Wa It sounds like wa ikra. That is because you're pausing slightly and then flowing again. Wa yikra. Wa yikra. The Aleph is silent because it came off of this basic word. Ra, a, ra, a. The He is dropped. So let's continue. We have another consonant. It's a Mim. So that's M, M, M. Then I look for a con for a vowel hmm, right here. A cholem. Mo, mo. What is this? Is it a sheen or a sin? Oh, I see the cholem is on top of the right side. So that's a sh sheen. So mo sh. This is a serol. Serol. Okay. So it makes a, a s sound. It is a short vowel. It does not make a a a a sound, but a sound. So moshe, not moshe, moshe. So waikra moshe. So we have two words down. This he is just to stop it. Remember, we have c v c consonant. Vowel consonant is just to stop the flow. And that's as basic as I can say, okay? It's just to stop the flow. To make sure this is moshe and not mosh. Moshe. That's why the he is there. Let's continue. We have the aleph. Now remember, aleph doesn't have a real sound but until there is a vowel. So once the vowel is there, the aleph takes on that form. So this is e, e, e. Okay, what consonant is this? Lamed, so that's l, l. So l, l, not l, l. Next, we see a strange sign here. Mm, what sign is this? Looks like a dash. It is a machif, machif, and this tells the reader that this should be one continuous flow. The sound should be one continuous flow. But right now, since you're beginners, you, we together would not be saying this. So l. Next, I see a kaf or chaf. Ah. This is a kaf because of the darish. And then I move on from there and I see a khamis. This is a different type of khamis. This makes a O sound. Okay. This is short. So khol. Not kol. Khol. So el khol. Because of the lamed. El khol. Move on. Another Machef, we will skip this for now. I see the yod. This makes a y, y sound. 
Then we see the Hirik or Hirik. So this is Yiz or Yiz or Yish. Which one is it? Well, I see it's Yiz. Uh, seen, not Sheen, because I see the Cholem is on the left side. Then I move on from there and I see a Shawa. So because I see a Shawa, this is now a short vowel instead of a long. So it's no longer Yizra, Yiz, it is Yiz, Yiz. So Yiz, Yiz, El Kol, Yiz, and then we move on to the Resh. Then we move on to the Kamis, which makes a A sound. So Yizra. I see the Aleph. Okay, this has no sound. What is the vowel? Oh, it's re. It's an A sound. It's a long vowel because it's continuous. A. So A. Then I see the lament. So now we're going to continue. L. So what does this say in completeness? Wayekra Moshe El Kol Yisrael. Okay, so there's one one continuous flow there. So this is Wayekra Moshe El Kol Yisrael. One complete flow. So the accent now. All of these accents that were here are all here. Wa yekra Moshe el chol Yisrael. And then you guys practice on your own with the rest.